Stuart Bloor, Canal, Perch, say no more. I've cast one rod out, let me show you my second one, identical rig, before I cast this one out. I'm fishing a, a small lead, as you can see it's a, it's a running lead there, and I've created a hook length with a small shot and a 5mm bead which will fit over that. And then just about 4 5 inches down the line I've got a size 8 or size 10 I'm fishing both depending on the size of the bait but a size 8 or a size 10 hook fish a single worm the reason I choose this particular rig I am fishing off bank sticks bite alarms and light hangers the reason I choose this rig is because I can get to the far bank where the overhanging vegetation is. With a float rod it would be impossible to do that. The only other alternative of course would be to use a pole but that's not really my style of fishing. So this sort of uh, tactic, this style, I can flick the bait under, just let it sink, put it, the rod in the rests and then wait for the perch. That was the theory, this is the practice. A perch, just a small one though. Another perch, getting a little bit bigger, not big enough to uh, need the net though yet. A bream. I'm fishing a new place, never been here before, I guess that's why it's a new place. I don't really know anything at all about it. But if you've got the time and the inclination, then it's certainly worthwhile trying something new from time to time. I've got the float out there. I'm fishing in about three and a half, four feet of water. It's not a deep pool at all. There are some great looking spots. Unfortunately, they're not pegs. You can't get to them. You can clear vegetation, but you can't go around with a chainsaw, <laughs> chopping down trees and making access that way. So I'm making do with where I am, which I'm quite happy with that. Uh, first couple of casts I've had a small rod and the world's smallest tench I think. It looks like it should live in an aquarium, it's that small. But I'm fishing with worm on the hook, float fished worm. I'm fishing with dead maggots and red maggots to bring the fish in. So I'm confident that if there are perch in here or a reasonable head then I'm, I'm going to get amongst them. If not I'll still enjoy myself anyway. Probably a carp, if not a big tench, not a perch though. It's a carp. I'm on my local canal. I'm not perch fishing. I'm not carp fishing. In fact, I'm after rough. It's not April the 1st. It's not a joke. I'm seriously fishing for rough. I'm on a stretch that I did uh, try recently. If you follow my angling website, you'll be aware that I targeted a new place for perch. And as well as a few small perch, I caught some rough. I haven't caught them for quite some, uh, some time, about a few on the lower seven, and that's been about it over the years. So I've decided to come back and have some real fun fishing after rough. Let me show you my setup before I cast out. I'm actually fishing what we call the boat channel, which is the deeper part of the canal, pretty much down the middle, or I'm fishing just this side of it. Six feet of water, so standard canal. I'm fishing a, a waggler there. You can see that it's a 2AA, it's called a giant waggler, it's a 2AA float and then I've got a, a, a hook length, slightly lighter line than the main one which is four pound, this is three and a half, you never know, I want to try the perch potential as well. Then I'm fishing um, shot, spaced out pretty evenly but 
with a, a particular bulk towards the bottom of the heavier ones so I can get it down because I am fishing really on the bottom and then the business end as you can see there hopefully yeah there you can there's a shot about uh, one and a half inches from the hook a little bit of pull on the canal still boats coming through although it's late evening and there's always water movement so I want to anchor the, uh, the bait on the bottom and then, well there it is, it's a bit tangled at the moment, but uh, inside that mess I need to untangle it is a, a size 12 hook and a small worm. I'm fishing dead maggots and brown crumb as a carrier and then I intend to fish the worm over the maggots. And my first fish is a perch. There it is. Beautiful little fish. Hey, it's a rough. And I've got a telephone call as well at the same time. Now that is a tiny, tiny little fish. But you know what? It's what I came for and I'm really pleased with it. A gudgeon. It's quite a, it's quite a big one actually. And that was my wife on the phone by the way. Got a fish on. I was just about to do the auction bit as I watched the float going, 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 gone but it went very, very quickly it's a small chub just a small one there's my second rough of the session I've been catching perch uh, quite regularly and a few other fish as well but rough one I'm after so I thought I'd show my second one well into dusk now so Hopefully that will come on the feed. I don't know about the rough coming on the feed, but the perch certainly have. I think they've been bullying them out the swim. <laughs> Managed to catch it. Good job I'm kneeling down, which is important when you're holding fish. 